Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. I hope everybody is having a fabulous Monday. Suki, oh God, every single time. Anyway, you guys, happy Monday. You will not be seeing an Angela and Judy show today because Judy did not go to work on Friday. And as you guys know, I pre-record. Angela and Judy show did not happen. So you're going to be getting this instead. So I'm going to be going over some different products that I received in my P.O. box just to like try out and show you guys. And then I'm also going to be getting into some tea. We're going to be spilling some tea about some wax vendors and I'm going to be calling them out. So don't click off this video. If you guys want to fast forward through the products, not a big deal. I will forgive you. Okay, so the first product and probably the most important product is this root candle. Um, Root actually contacted me. I heard that they were looking for reviewers and things and um, I didn't see that, but then the Root company contacted me and asked me if I would want to try one of their candles. So I, of course I said yes. Um, I will be doing a separate review on this candle just so you guys can see it because obviously I have really nothing to review except for the cold um, scent, the cold fragrance without burning the candle and melting it, but they sent me Seaside Driftwood. So this is the candle here, this beautiful blue, dark ocean blue wax, and you guys, okay, do you guys know the candle Midnight Cove by Yankee Candle? If you do, and if you love it, this is a pretty good dupe to that candle. Um, it smells absolutely magnificent. It is a deep, dark, ocean blue fragrance, very manly, but at the same time, um, completely universal. So they actually have a coupon code and it is reviewers 17 and that will get you 40% off of any future purchases from, let's see, now until August 31st, 2017. So I really think that that is a great deal. Um, and again, I'll leave all the information in the description box below, but this, fragrance reads sun washed beech wood harmonizes with white sea lily and driftwood accords adrift a cool water base invoking the freshness of a seaside spray so basically very 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 sea-esque um sea glass sea beach sea sand sea whatever see the sea. So it's really really good um a lot of people that I saw that were reviewing the candles already said that they love the candle, but it left a lot of residue on the side. This candle is going to do that. Any candle by root candle made with the beeswax is going to do that. It's going to leave residue on the side. Is it going to leave a lot of wax chunk on the side? No, but it is going to be um, clouded. You might have a little bit of residue, so that is to be expected, but I love the top as well. Isn't that pretty, you guys? This next person sent me some wax just to kind of look at, take a look at, see what I think, and I thought that I would share it with you guys. Um, I feel like I kind of like went through this already a little bit. The company is called Mermaid Melts. Um, and I feel just like packaging needs to be a little bit upgraded on this stuff. I'm giving kind of like my honest review here, but these fragrances, you guys smell absolutely amazing. Everything is really strong. So this first one is black raspberry and vanilla. And that is what it looks like here. Um, like I said, again, she's just starting out. I feel like she needs to work on her packaging, but this is the wax here. And again, I'm sorry, you guys, about the light. It's just not working for me today. Let's see if that's a little bit better. Okay, so this is the wax here. Beautiful, gorgeous, smells absolutely amazing. Her fragrances are super strong, which I absolutely love. I have also noticed though that her wax is clouding a little bit. So this one is Bite Me Blonde Moment, and I will show you guys what I'm talking about with the wax clouding. Um, it did not come to me like this, but it looks a little bit chalky here, as you guys can see. So it smells magnificent. Um, but there are a few things, you know, that you have to work on, and that's to be expected with any new vendor. I think it's great that she reached out to me. This next one is Narcissist. Yeah, right up my alley. Oh, this smells so good. So this one is super pretty. Um, really, really nice, deep purple, and the glitter on there. And then 
The last one that she sent me here, she wrote on, it's called Shirley Temple. And this is also in a heart, but this one did not cloud. Well, I shouldn't say that. It did a little bit there, just a little bit on the top, as you guys can see. But anyway, it smells absolutely magnificent. So it took me about a minute to get her and she's wanting to go back there and I am not going to let you. No, you have to stay right by me. Oh dear, Miss Snooky Louise. Look at that little face, you guys. Look, oh, I do have to redo her hair. Okay, fine, you can go on back. Anyway, this next vendor, is a soap vendor and this is called Murphy Soaps and Gifts and she is based out of um, Louisiana. Louisiana. So packaging superb with this company. So she sent me two items and both of the items are in these boxes here and I'll open up this one first. So on the front it just says handmade with love and then inside she's got the tissue paper with all of the goodies of the goodness. Oh here's her business card. It says Murphy soaps and unique gifts. Wash your hands and say your prayers because Jesus and germs are everywhere. This is the bath salt. It just says Murphy soap gifts three ounce lavender bath salts and it comes in this mason jar here and let's open it up you guys and smell it together oh that smells good okay so beautiful salt beautiful lavender fragrance it is a very loose salt and then this next one that she sent this one also says handmade with love okay so this is a lavender loofah soap what is this so this is really cool so it's actually a loop oh, hold on let me smell this Ooh, that smells really good it's this one is more of like a milky a milky lavender but anyway you guys look at this oh my gosh my light sorry so look at this this is really cool so here is the bar of soap and then you've got like a little loofah that's attached to it. Now, I don't know if at one point in time this loofah is going to come unattached, but how beautiful is this? This is really unique. I've never seen anything like that before. This would be really great for a gift, I feel, for Mother's Day, for a daughter's birthday. Um, you know, something that if you want to get somebody something and you just don't know what to get them, you can get them, you know, one of those. I think it's really pretty. So again, I will leave all of her information in the description box below. Okay. So here we go. It's how many minutes in and we are going to be spilling the tea. Get ready y'all. So I was on Periscope last night and I was kind of spilling the tea on there, but I thought, you know what? Not everyone on YouTube watches my Periscope and not everyone on Periscope watches my YouTube stuff. So I thought that I would kind of like share with you guys what's been going on. So last night I was just kind of talking briefly about like a whole bunch of stuff, but one of like the topics that came up was this specific wax vendor and what happened um, and why I don't order from them anymore. So, and this is like no way, shape, or form. Oh gosh, I'm getting all of uh, all of the notifications. I'm so sorry, you guys. This is in no shape, way, or form, or whatever, um, trying to run this vendor's name in the mud. I am simply sharing something that happened with myself and with somebody else. And we'll just kind of like leave it at that. And like, this is my own experience that I had. You may have had a different experience with these two vendors that I'm going to be talking about. And that is, you know, your experience. I'm just basically sharing my experience. So, um, yeah, I mean, this is the truth. This is the tea and we're going to be spilling it. So a while back, and if you guys kind of like, dig deep into my YouTube channel, you'll see that I have ordered from Front Porch Wax Company um, a lot of times before. And I absolutely loved her wax. It is a very good product. I haven't ordered obviously recently because of this certain situation that happened. Um, but nonetheless, it was really good wax and I ordered a lot until something happened. So one of my friends at the time decided to place an order and he did so because I recommended the company. I 
um, had no idea that this was going to happen or I would have never told him to order from the company. But anyway, he placed an order and when he got the order, he was so happy with the wax and just, you know, very, very content and satisfied with the throw of the wax, you know, just all of it, like just loved it. So obviously, if you have a YouTube channel or an Instagram account or any platform of any social media, you are going to take pictures and you're going to post on that vendor's Facebook group and, you know, give them a good review because, you know, that's what we do as um, purchasers of, you know, the wax from the vendors. So he took a beautiful picture of this person's wax and posted it on her Facebook group. And this was, this was probably more than a year ago. But like I said, this just came up in Periscope and I thought that I would share it with you guys because I don't think I've ever shared it before. So like I said, he was happy with everything posted on her group, on her Facebook group. And he said, and I'm not going to quote, but he said something to the effect of myself and my husband absolutely enjoy your wax. It is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for, you know, the order, like a normal, basically comment that someone would do, um, you know, after they buy wax. So she deleted his comments and like right away. And he thought that it was a mistake. So he sent it again and it got deleted again. And she had no moderators at the time. She had no admits at the time. It was just her running her Facebook group. And that was that. And he was like, oh my gosh, you know, Angela, what do you think happened? I'm like, I have no idea. Like, I've never heard of anybody like that before. Like, did you say something bad? He's like, no. It's like, all I said was myself and my husband enjoyed her wax. And a, li a little light bulb went off in my head literally right when he said that and not because he is a gay man who is married to obviously a man but I remember this vendor being very very religious and there's nothing wrong with being religious um I don't have anything against that but what I do have against this vendor is she does not believe in um in being gay or same-sex couples or anything like that so she decided to take the comment down and I was just literally baffled. And when confronted, she said she made a statement that um, basically love is not love because I believe that love is love. I believe that if you love a freaking goat, well, maybe that that's too far. Okay, let's not go too. Let's not, let's not say that goat. I believe that if you love a man, love a woman, you know, love a man transitioning into a woman, love a woman transitioning into a man, you know, all the P's and Q's and A's and O's and E's and I's and U's. I don't feel like it's wrong. I feel like love is love, and. Um, it's not something that you can change, you know? So anyway, so needless to say, I completely just have never ordered from that vendor again. Um, people, you know, just, I don't know. I, that was just something that happened that I just wanted to share with you guys. But anyway, you guys, let's spill some real tea. So something happened, you guys, on Instagram today, and I was just like, ooh, this is kind of juicy. And I did get permission from this person um, to talk about this. I am not going to say his name, but many of you people who are watching who have ordered wax before have um, already heard about this story. So this is kind of juicy. So this is by Candles by Victoria. Now, background... Let's go back a little bit during the day, during the 2008 day of Miss Angela. So Candles by Victoria has been around since that time frame. Um, I personally looked on my YouTube page or my YouTube account to see if I ordered from her because I know for a fact that I have. I know for a fact that I have placed an order from her. I believe it was wax melts and possibly one or two candles. I know for sure one candle and I know for sure like a shit ton of wax melts. The problem is that I could not find it on my YouTube channel, um, which is weird because I know that I would have definitely showed it 
unless the only thing that I can think of is that I ordered from Candles by Victoria and something happened that was bad and this is what I'm remembering like and like again you guys this is probably back in like 2010 2011 it's 2017 now and like mom is 42 and her memory is going a little bit but I do remember placing an order I do remember getting a candle I do remember getting wax and I do remember being laced about which we will get into in a little bit uh, I do remember being lied to. I do remember several stories going around where this person um, did videos and things like that and she was pouring wax when she was drunk, when her husband was drunk. They were drinking brandy, alcohol, like you wouldn't believe in making all of the wax melts on YouTube because they had their own YouTube channel way, way back in the day. I don't know if they still do or not. But yeah, that happened. I remember that I was very unsatisfied with my wax melts. I remember that none of them had throw, barely any of them had fragrance. I was lied to about the tat time, which is the turnaround time. And I was also um, lied to about something else. And I can't remember what it was. I think it was like, I think I ordered something and she told me that like the, the oil didn't come in on one of the fragrances that I ordered. So could she replace it with this and that and whatever? I don't know. It was a total mess. It was like a mess. And it was like not good business. And this like literally brought me back. So somebody posted on, I'll just say the platform, Instagram. They said, Candles by Victoria, shittiest piss poor effing customer service ever. And I was like, ooh, honey, I got to click on this. So I found out that it was my friend and I was just like, oh no. And I remember seeing that this person ordered for their first time, which a little red flag. A little let's do a little disclaimer if you are ordering from a vendor for the first time do not order big do not order big maybe order $30 I do believe that this person did their research because Candles by Victoria has a huge following and I feel like the people who are loyal to her are extremely loyal to her the people who got burned are scared to say something so this is what happened says not for the faint-hearted please do not order from candles by victoria unless you want nothing but shitty customer service and want to support a company that treats their customers like total shit i have been buying and melting wax for years never have i ever received such shitty and horrible customer service i despise being lied to if shit happens i get that just be honest to your effing customers and don't beat around the mother effing bush so I give them the chance to provide quality customer service, especially to a first time customer who spends well over $300 and I have been lied to countless times and ignored until I pushed the issue. Don't order $300 for the first time from a vendor. I love you. I love you. By the way, this person was not the person that I was talking about and complaining about with the tat times. Th this is not the same person. I love you. I swear to God I do. I have given them the chance to provide quality customer service, especially to a first time customer who spends well over $300. And I have been lied to countless times and ignored until I pushed this issue. I have thought about whether or not to put them on blast, but I feel like I have to warn people of their shady practices. Oh, I am so sorry you ordered days before a sale, but you did good, so no credit for you. Oh, please. I saw right through that one and I got my credit when I pressed the issue. No pulling one over on this guy. Your order will ship by July 4th. Lies. You guys, it's July 7th right now and he still has not gotten tracking. Your order will be shipped today. Please check for tracking. Lies. I love being ignored. You do not respond and are not radio silent while you are posting on other places shame. So basically what she was doing is she was posting on like other platforms while he was messaging her and emailing her and she was completely ignoring him, which is like a complete no-no for vendor, for a vendor, like never ignore the customer. He says, sure, you may have generated my packages label, but did, but it did not get picked up, nor did it go out with your other packages that day. So I assume you held mine back out of spite. Tisk tisk. Not a good way to treat your customers. What kind of business treats their customers like complete shit? 
Plus, I might it might be a good idea to label your wax weights on your site as ounces and not fluid ounces. You know that makes it seem like your wax is a pretty good deal when in reality you will be getting much less wax than listed rant over. So like I said, I've had dealings with this vendor before and when this person my friend posted that he ordered the $300 worth of wax on her site I had to bite my tongue um but how was he supposed to know like and I I would have put it out there about this vendor if I would have remembered I honestly didn't even really know that people were still buying her wax um, let's talk about her candles for a second. Her candles are absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. They are works of art. They smell magnificent. Um, what happens when you burn one of her candles? Well, you get soot all over your walls because the wicks are extremely sooty to the point where you can see specks of soot flying in the air as you burn the candle. Another problem that has occurred is the wax completely melts over, completely melts over and you're left with a big disgusting mess. It is just not worth it. It is not worth it. Her candles are not worth it. Um, anyway, so he basically contacted her, told her numerous times, I need to cancel my order. I want you to cancel my order. I don't want my order. She kept on saying to him, it is too late. I made up your order. I made up your order. This is what I suggest. If something like this happens to you guys, she did not send um, her packages through the mail. She sent them through UPS or USPS. I don't really know the gist of everything, but if you do not have your tracking and you are getting the runaround and this person is saying that they sent your wax when they didn't, um, call PayPal and make a claim. If it has not been over a month, call PayPal and make a claim. Tell them that you have been working with the vendor and things are not working out and you want your money back and you don't want the order anymore. Make a claim. PayPal will help you. They will help you. If the package somehow already ships and this whole shit went down, I just wouldn't accept the package. Um, if the package was left on my doorstep while I wasn't home, I would not open the package. I would take it right back to USPS and I would say return to sender, contact PayPal, um, and tell them that you return it back. Take pictures of everything. Take pictures of the unopened box. Take pictures of the box on the UPS or the USPS counter when you're bringing it back for proof to PayPal that you sent it back. Keep your tracking. You guys know what's up. Just, I don't know. It's, it's a mess. It is a mess. So another thing that vendors did way back in the day not now. I haven't seen actually any of the vendors that I have ordered from recently do this, but what vendors used to do back in the day, which is what she did to him, is they will create a label. So they will go to USPS or UPS and they will create a label and it will say that your package has had a label created and it has been shipped. But what happens is that vendor will put your box in their garage next to their trash, which has cat litter in it, and let it sit there for a few days. Why? Because they're lazy ass motherfuckers, that's why. So they'll let it sit, and meanwhile, you think that you're gonna be getting your package in two to three days? Oh no, honey. Your package is soaking up that kitty litter until they ship it. So just beware that if you are getting into vendor wax, this can happen and I'm done spilling the tea. If you guys have had a similar situation like this happen to you before with vendor wax or candles or basically anything that you've ordered from online, uh, let me know, but definitely always pay with PayPal. Um, they are great at their customer service. Um, they are great at refunding money if it is found in your favor. And yeah, that's what I suggest to do. So, so that is the end of me sipping my tea and throwing the shade. I hope everybody has a great Monday and I will see you guys all later. Bye everyone.